Hey everyone, in this video we are going to talk about mid segments of triangles. We are working on IXL M1. Oops, sorry about that. We are working on IXL M1. So our question says Q is the midpoint of RU and S is the midpoint of RT. So these two cut the sides of the triangle into equal pieces. This means the ratio of QS to TU is going to be 1 to 2. So QS over TU would be equal to 1 to 2. That's a rule. If uh, QS is the mid segment, this right here is the mid segment. The ratio between that one and the base of the whole triangle, the big triangle, is going to be 1 to 2. So now let's see the given number and figure out whatever the question is. QS is 28. What's TU? TU is going to be 2 times QS. Uh, one way is just multiply that number by 2 and then put it up here. And the other way is plugging it in. Plug that 28 in over here for QS. And then do cross multiplication. TU times 1 is TU. 2 times 28 is 56, so you will end up with the same answer. Okay, let's move on to another example. Still working on mid segments. Here is how I know this because G is cutting the HK, that side, into equal pieces because both pieces have one tick marks on them. And then same thing is happening on the opposite side. We have two tick marks on each pieces of the side, which means. Let me change this color. GI, whatever this is, it's health of this whole base. Or the base is two times the, the, the shorter base. Okay, now let's see. JK is given T plus 60. JK is the big base, T plus 60. And GI is T plus 13. Once again, when I multiply that shorter, when I multiply this shorter one by 2, or let me just uh, start over and then write this one and before I set up an equation. 2 times GI is going to give me the big base, which is KJ or JK, it doesn't matter. Now I plug it in. 2 times, instead of GI, I'm putting in T plus 13. And then on the right side, side KJ is given as T plus 60. Now if I distribute this, I have 2t plus 26. And then bring down the right side. We have like terms to combine. I want to get the t's together first. Subtract 1t on each side. Left becomes 1t plus 26. Right side is 60. Now I have two numbers to combine. Subtract this 26 from both sides. So T would be equal to 34. Which was our question. So that would be 34. Once again, you have two sides as the base. This right here is the base of that triangle. And then KJ is the base of the big triangle. Multiply the shorter one by 2, which is right here, to end up with the bigger base and then do whatever you need to do to get the variable by itself okay moving on to the next one in here it seems like ru is the mid segment it, it actually says it over here so if ru is the mid segment two times ru is going to be equal to st That comes uh, out of the definition. Now let's see what else is, what else is given. So it says st is z minus twenty six. That's the right side. Z minus twenty six. Left side is two times ru or two times. Since we have a binomial, I need to put it in the parentheses. Z minus forty four. Next distribution. I have two z. Minus 88. 
on the left side right side we can just bring it down now I have variables to combine subtract 1z on each side this is gone left side is z minus 88 bring down the equal and negative 26 now I have two numbers to combine <coughs> let's see I'm adding 88 on each side so z would be equal to 62, which is the question itself. So that's our answer. And let's have maybe one more example. OK, we can do this one, 72 for the point. OK, u is the midpoint of v, y, and then x is the midpoint of v, w, y, w. So that tells me ux is the mid segment. If ux is the mid segment, 2 times ux would be equal to vw. Now let's see what the question is. It gives me what vw is. I'm plugging it in for the right side, which is t. And then ux is t minus 2. ux is t minus 2. And then there's two times right in front of it. Okay, now distribution. 2 times t and 2 times negative 2. Bring down the equal sign and the right side. Step 3. Get the t's together. Subtract 2t. So bring down the left side. t minus 2t is negative 1t. And to get the t by itself... Divide this by negative 1 and that by negative 1. So the t would be equal to the division of two negative numbers gives me a positive 4. That would be my final answer for this question. So I guess that's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. Give me a thumbs up if you liked the video or if it helped you out. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And I will see you in another video. Thanks again for watching.